I would have got to get in to push this, all of the things that I just said. Because if you're representing, you have to have information about what people want. When he comes to that podium tonight, he had better already have that. Because if he doesn't have that, he's just babbling. He's just guessing and grasping for straws. You have to know what people want you to say that's going to satisfy them. And what people are you talking about? The majority of the people. Oh, no. If you are representing people, you say, look, I don't go along with what you all like. In which case, I'm supposed to step down right there from the podium. I have found out what the people like and what I'm saying now. I'm not even running for a second term Mm. because I don't like any of the things that the majority of the people like. Mm -hmm. The majority of the people seems like they want, if that's the case now, in the area, the ninth area of activity, say, the majority of the people say they want to go to war with Thailand and with Cambodia and reopen the thing with Vietnam again. And if I am running for president and they tell me something like that, I say I think the majority is making a mistake. The majority is making a mistake, but that's in my opinion. But the majority rules because that's the kind of government we're supposed to have. So I am not going to represent you in this endeavor. And I'm going to try to find a place to hide because there's going to be a whole lot of mess behind that. And we're going to be caught up in it, including myself. But I am not going to go out before the world and say, repeat what you, you all, the majority, just told me. So I cannot be your representative. But if I'm going to be a representative, that's the danger of being a representative. You have to go against your own convictions, really, in many things. Hmm. They call it compromise. All down through history, there have been things called like things called like the uh, Missouri Compromise and all this type of thing, uh, the issues of slavery. Now, slavery is serious, but there are people who said that they were going to represent the people, so they have to cut some corners. They have to leave out things that they want. Cut a deal, they call it. Yeah, cut deals and whatnot. But you be honest with the people and say, I'm cutting this deal, but I don't like it. Mm. Just be honest with the people. I mean, which is something very rare. Very rare. Just be straightforward with the people. They'll say, well, you know, you're telling me the truth. I mean, you know, we don't want the truth. I mean, the truth hurts a lot of people and whatnot. You're going to come up there. Not only that, we're not going to vote for you next time. Because you're too, you know, you tell the truth. I mean, trying to hold something back. I mean, no. If I was doing it, I would say, hey, this this is the deal, warts and all. And I would even tell black people, if I was a black president, I would say, you know what? The majority of the people have spoken, and they have decided that you all are worthless, and you're not worth the education that you're getting, and all this money you spent on education should be dropped. The majority of the white people have said that, and that what we should do with all of you worthless black people is build more prisons (laughs) and have more road gangs and build up the economy that way. Have your prison labor and uh, build the bridges and whatnot and have the fellows who believe in clinging to their guns, as I've heard through the grapevine, out there guarding you while you build up infrastructure, bridges, roads, and get something going like the good old days. And that's what the people want. Take us back to the good old days where we didn't have all these worries about race and all the rest of this rabble-rousing nonsense that's come up in the last 40 or 50 years. And that's what the people want. And then I would step down because I would say I'm black and I don't want to be on a road gang. And I'd like for my offspring to have a decent education and all like that. But the majority of the people say they don't want that. So I'm not taking the job of representing that. And just come clean. And I said, the one thing that is missing Mm -hmm. in everything is honesty and truthfulness, not only in politics, but in all of the areas of activity. Because in the system of white supremacy, hypocrisy rules. 